In this lecture, you will learn what is a route parameter and how to pass a parameter with a route and then how to retrieve and use it in our Angular application. So the route parameters are the dynamic part of the route and it is essential in determining the route. Let's understand route parameters with an example. So in this Angular application, we have this courses page where we are displaying a list of courses. Now what we want is when a user clicks on the show detail button of a particular course, we want to display the details of that course. Okay, now each course has a unique course ID and based on that course ID, we want to display the detail of that course. So the route here should look something like this. So it should be root URL slash courses slash course slash the ID of the course, for example, 101. So now when this route is typed in the address bar, in that case, we want to display the details of the course with this ID 101. Here, if I type 105, in that case, the details of that course with the ID 105 should be displayed. Okay, so here in this route, the last segment of this route will change dynamically based on for which course we have clicked on the show details button. Okay, so here this last value will change dynamically. This ID will change dynamically based on which course we have selected. And to store this value, in the route, we can specify a parameter which will store this value. Okay. So let's go to VS Code and let's go to App Modules. And here, let's create a new route. So let me copy this route from here, this route object. And let's create a new route. And the path here will be courses slash course slash ID. Now, this ID should act as a placeholder. The value of this ID will be set dynamically based on what value is typed in the URL bar. So for that, what we need to do is we need to use a colon before this ID. So now this ID will act as a placeholder. It will act as a parameter. So in the URL, when we type courses slash course slash 105, this 105 will be assigned to this ID parameter. In the same way, if I specify some other value, let's say maybe hello, in that case, this hello will be assigned to this ID parameter. And in the same way, you can specify as many parameters as you want. So again, you can use a slash, then you can use a colon and specify another parameter name. So let's say another parameter is this name parameter. Okay. Now, if you want to have more parameters, then again, you can use a slash a colon and then the parameter name let's say type okay now here we only want one parameter which is this id all right now when this path is typed in the url in that case we want to display the view of course component and not courses component so if i expand this courses folder inside this courses folder we have this course folder and inside this course folder we have all the files related to course component Okay, so here we want to display the view of course component. So if I go to the HTML of this course component, here we have the view. Now currently in this view, we are hard coding these values. But here we want to display the details of that course, which the user has selected. Okay, so we need a way to get that course from the courses array. So what we are going to do is in this course component class, I'm going to create two properties. The first property will be course property and the second property will be course ID property. Now we want to assign this course ID property with the value which we have in the route. So here, if it, if the value is 107, then we want to, you know, this 107 will be assigned to this ID parameter, right? Now from this ID parameter, we want to get that value and then we want to assign it to this course ID property. For that, we need access to the currently activated route. And to get access to the currently activated route, we can ask Angular to inject an instance of the activated route. Okay, so inside the constructor, let's specify a private parameter. Let's call it activated route. 
and the type of this parameter will be activated route and to use this we also need to import it from angular slash router now from this activated route we can get the value of the id parameter for that first we need to access this activated route on this activated route we have a snapshot property and on this snapshot property we have a map called param map and from this map we can get the value of the id parameter using this get method so to this get method we need to pass the parameter name which is id here and it will return the value of the id parameter and we want to assign it to this cos id property so here let's say this dot cos id equals whatever value we have stored inside this id parameter okay and then based on this cos id we want to get the cos from this from this courses array of this courses service class and then we want to display its details so again let's inject an instance of this courses service inside this course component so for that let's specify another parameter let's call it service of type courses service okay now from this courses service let's property is service okay so from here let's access the courses so this courses is an array now from this array we want to get that course whose id matches the id of this course id property the value of this course id property for that we can use this find method and here let's pass a callback function for that let's use arrow function so let's say x such that x dot id equals this course id so for that let's say this dot course id okay so this find method is going to return an element from this courses array which will match this condition let's assign that course that element to this course property for that let's say this dot course equals this expression so now in this course in this course property we will have a course based on the id now we want to display its details in the view so let's open course component.html file here and instead of displaying these hard coded values let's use this course property to display the details of the course so the property name here is course and here we want to display the name of the course so here we can say this course dot name in the same way here we want to display the image of the course so again let's use string interpolation inside that let's say course dot image okay so if i go to this course service you will notice that each course has this name id author duration image rating and all these properties so we are simply making use of that property inside this view okay so in the same way let's replace all these hard coded values with the property value so here we want to display the author then here we want to display the duration here let's display the type then here let's display the price and let's also display the description okay with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and in the url let's type the route so courses slash course slash maybe 107 so this 107 is the id of the course if i press enter you will notice that the detail of a course is being displayed here so this 107 will be assigned to this id parameter okay and then we are retrieving the value of this id parameter inside this course component class using this snapshot dot param map so it is going to return us the value of this id parameter and based on that id we are selecting the course from this courses array and then we are displaying its details using this view if i type some other id value let's say 101 if i press enter in that case the course detail which has this id should be displayed let's say 105 press enter so now it is displaying the course detail 
with this course ID. So this is how we can pass the route parameters and we can retrieve the value of that parameter and use it in our Angular application. Now here we have used this param map. Now the snapshot property also has another property which is params and there we can use that params like an array. So let me copy this line from here and let's also comment this line. Okay and instead of param map let's use params array. Okay and now we don't need to use this get method instead we can specify square brackets and inside that we can specify the parameter name which is id here if i save the changes the application should still be working okay so let me specify the id as 104 press enter so the detail of the course with that id has been displayed so this is also working but remember that this is the old approach of retrieving the value of a route parameter the new approach is by using param map so let's comment this line here and let's uncomment this line here all right now let's also make this show details button in these courses work so let's go to vs code let's go to course component.html actually let's go to courses component.html and here we have this show details button so on this show details button let's use router link and to this let's specify a path so let's get this path this courses slash course and to this we also need to append the id okay so let me first specify that and to this we also need to append the id of the course now from where we will get the id so that id we will get from this course object so here we are looping over this courses array and for each course object we have the id right so let's append the id of that course here so here let's use string interpolation and let's say course dot id okay and let's include a slash before this path so that this will use the absolute path okay with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and let's see if these show detail links are working so now you can see these show details button are working it is displaying the details of that course when we click on this show details button okay all right now here to retrieve the value of the route parameter we are using this snapshot property but here we can also use observables and using observables to retrieve the value of the route parameter is better way and we will understand why in the next lecture.